Metagonomiasis, Wikipedia article audio. Metagonomiasis is a disease caused by an intestinal trematode, most commonly Metagonomus yokega y, but sometimes by M. takashii or M. mayatai. The metagonomiasis causing flukes are one of two minute flukes called the heterophyids. Metagonomiasis was described by Katsuraza in 1911-1913 when he first observed eggs of M. yokega y in feces. M. Takahashii was described later first by Suzuki in 1930 and then M. Yatai was described in 1984 by Sato. Signs and Symptoms Cause Transmission Reservoirs Incubation Period Morphology Eggs Adult Flukes Diagnosis Prevention Treatment Epidemiology Korea Japan India The main symptoms are diarrhea and colicky abdominal pain. Because symptoms are often mild, infections can often be easily overlooked but diagnosis is important. Flukes attach to the wall of the small intestine, but are often asymptomatic unless in large numbers. Infection can occur from eating a single infected fish source. Peripheral eosinophilia is associated especially in early phase. When present in large numbers, can cause chronic intermittent diarrhea, nausea, and vague abdominal pains. Clinical complaints can also include lethargy and anorexia. In acute metagonomiasis, clinical manifestations are developed only 5-7 days after infection. Heavy infection has also been associated with epigastric distress, fatigue, and malaise. Occasionally, flukes invade the mucosa and eggs deposited in tissue may gain access to circulation. This can then lead to eggs embolizing in the brain, spinal cord, or heart. Granulomas may form around eggs and can cause seizures, neurologic deficits, or cardiac insufficiency. An interesting case in Japan found diabetes mellitus to be a sign of chronic infection with intracerebral hemorrhages as the acute sign of aggravation. Two months after administering praziquantel, the hemorrhages were gone, as was the diabetes. This unique case shows the potential of additional symptoms associated with metagonomiasis that are still unknown. Metagonomiasis is most commonly caused by one of the two smallest flukes known to infect man, Metagonimus yokega y, also called the Japanese fluke. More rarely, Metagonomiasis can arise from infection with M. takahashii or M. mayatai. Recent studies analyzing the DNA of the three agents causing metagonomiasis found that DNA sequencing supports M. yokega y and M. takahashii be placed in the same clade, and phylogenic tree analysis supports their genetic similarity. M. mayatai, however, was found to be more genetically distinct and the authors concluded it should be nominated as a separate species. An additional study examining karyotype data on the three disease-causing agents also supported the nomination of M. Yatai as a separate species. Trematodes are one class of phylum platyhelminths from the order Digenia and are generally referred to as flukes. Metagonomiasis is of the family Heterophyidae. Transmission requires two intermediate hosts, the first of which is snails, most commonly of species Semisocospira libertina, Semicolcospira coreana, and Theara granifer. Infection is acquired through the secondary intermediate host, fish, that haven't been thoroughly cooked. Metacercarii encyst under the scales or in the flesh of fish from fresh or brackish water. 
Sweet fish is one of the most common fish species infected, but other include the golden carp, common carp, Zacco teminkii, Prodimus steindacneri, Acheoloniathus lansdata, and Pseudorachora parva. Definitive hosts include humans and various fish-eating mammals, primarily dogs, cats, and pigs. Fish-eating birds may also be infected with metagonomiasis. Reservoirs include fish-eating mammals such as dogs, cats, and pigs as well as fish-eating birds. The presence of heterophyid infection in humans is generally caused by a lack of host specificity by the parasites, as seen in the many non-human reservoirs for metagonomiasis. The many reservoirs also have negative implications on the efficacy of prevention and eradication efforts of the disease. The incubation period is around 14 days and infestation may persist for more than one year. The morphology of the eggs is very important for diagnosis, but is difficult as eggs are very small. Eggs have a smooth, hard shell that is transparent and yellow-brown with a more conventional, ovoid egg shape. They are about the same size as those of heterophyes and clonarchies, usually measuring 26 to 28 mm length and 1517 mm width. The egg also has a very slight opercular shoulder, marking the line of cleavage between the shell and operculum an escape hatch for the Mercedium. The Clonarchise has more distinctive tapering and a seated operculum that help distinguish it more readily from Metagonimus species. The body of the adult disease-causing agent of Metagonimiasis is often described as leaf-shaped, similar to most trematodes. It is one of the smallest intestinal flukes, and is only slightly larger than heterophers. The most prominent feature is that its ventral sucker is deflected to the right of its midline and is closely associated with the opening of the genital pore. The testes are large and diagonal to each other while the smaller ovary is anterior to the testes and the uterus is filled with eggs. The uterus winds forward to the genital pore and is the largest organ in the body. The size of the adult fluke does not exceed 2.5 mm length by 0.75 mm width. Metagonomiasis is diagnosed by eggs seen in feces. Only after anti-helminthic treatment will adult worms be seen in the feces, and then can be used as part of a diagnostic procedure. A 1993 analysis of the efficacy of ELISA tests to diagnose metagonomiasis implied that simultaneous screening of specific antibodies to several parasite agents are important in serological diagnosis of acute parasitic disease and more research should be done on the efficacy of these methods of diagnosis. Diagnosis may be difficult because the egg-laying capacity of heterophyids is limited and therefore sedimentation concentration procedures may be needed to demonstrate eggs in lighter infections. Accurate species identification is also difficult because eggs of most flukes are similar in size and morphology, especially those of heterophyes, heterophyes, clonarchies, and epistherchis. It is important to ask where the person may have contracted the disease find out if they have been to an endemic area, and check for signs and symptoms that would lead to metagonomiasis. Several public health prevention strategies could help lower the rates of metagonomiasis. One is to control the intermediate host. This can be done through use of molluscidals. Another is to use education to ensure all people, especially in areas where the disease regularly occurs, fully cook all fish. This could potentially be problematic and not as effective as hoped as many of the people affected by metagonomiasis eat raw or pickled fish as part of a traditional, long-seated dietary practice. Additionally, implementing more sanitary water conditions would reduce the continual reintroduction of eggs to water sources 
thus restarting the life cycle. Complete control of metagonomiasis presents several potential problems because it does have several reservoir hosts, thus eradication is unlikely. Praziquantel is recommended in both adult and pediatric cases with dosages of 75 mg kg d in three doses for one day. Praziquantel is a praziniazoquinoline derivative that alters the calcium flux through the parasite tectum and causes muscular paralysis and detachment of the fluke. Praziquantel should be taken with liquids during a meal and is provided commercially as biltricide. Praziquantel is not approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for treatment of metagonomiasis, but is approved for use on other parasitic infections. Praziquantel has some side effects but they are generally relatively mild and transient and a review of evidence shows it overall a well-tolerated drug. Possible side effects include abdominal pain, allergy, diarrhea, headache, liver problems, nausea, or vomiting, exacerbation of porphyries, pruritus, rash, somnolence, vertigo, or dizziness. In fact, in 2002, the World Health Organization recommended the use of praziquantel in pregnant and lactating women though controlled trials are still needed to verify this. Another possible drug option is tetrachloroethylene, a chlorinated hydrocarbon, but its use has been superseded by new anti-helminthic drugs. A 1978 study also looked at the efficacy of several drugs on metagonomiasis infection, including bithionol, niclosamide, nicoflan, and praziquantel. All drugs showed lower prevalence of eggs and feces, however only praziquantel showed complete radical cure. Therefore, the authors concluded praziquantel was the most highly effective, was very well tolerated, and was the most promising drug against metagonomiasis. Metagonomiasis infections are endemic or potentially endemic in 19 countries including Japan, Korea, China, Taiwan, the Balkans, Spain, Indonesia, the Philippines, and Russia. Human infections outside endemic areas may result from ingesting pickled fish or sushi made from fish imported from endemic areas. Foodborne trematodes are currently the most important parasitic infections in Korea and approximately 240,000 Koreans are believed to be currently infected. Of the 240,000 estimated to be infected, 120,000 are caused by M. Yokega Y, 20,000 by M. Takahashi I, and 100,000 by M. Mayatai. The national rate of infections among randomly selected people was 1.2% in 1981, 1.0% 1 in 1986, and down to 0.5% in 2004. M. Yokega Y infections are found mostly around the large and small streams where sweet fish live and have been identified as endemic foci. M. Mayatai and M. Takahashii are prevalent along the upper reaches of the big rivers where minnows and carps are caught for eating raw. Metagonomiasis is also common in Japan, with 10-15% prevalence rates in populations bordering major rivers and 150,000 estimated infected. Foodborne trematodes are most common in rural areas where traditional food habits are more preserved and raw freshwater fishes are incorporated into the diet. Interestingly, both clonorchiasis and metagonomiasis have become infections of higher social classes in Hong Kong and Japan, owing to their frequent consumption of raw fish. There have also recently been two reported cases in India a location in which occurrence of infection is almost unknown. The second case, in 2005, was in a six-year-old female patient presenting with loose watery stools for four days. Upon examination, M. Yokega Y eggs were found in stool, 
but the patient left and further analysis and treatment could not be completed. A.H.N. Jung Kim Intestinal flukes of genus Metagonimus and their second intermediate hosts in Kang Gwondu. Korean Journal of Parasitology Volume 31, 331 to 340. 1993. Ash, Lawrence, Orahel, Thomas. Atlas of Human Parasitology. Fourth Edition. American Society of Clinical Pathologists. 1997. Chai, Zhongyil Etl. An Epidemiological Study of Metagonomiasis Along the Upper Reaches of the Namham River. Korean Journal of Parasitology. Volume 31, 99 to 108. 1993. Chi, J E G E T L. Intestinal Pathology in Human Metagonomiasis with Ultrastructural Observation of Parasites. Journal of Korean Medical Science. Volume 3, 171 to 177. 1998. Despomir D. Guadzar, O. P. Near C. Parasitic Diseases. 5th edition. New York, Apple Trees Productions. 2006. Doen Hoff, M. J., D. Sialai, and J. Utzinger. Praise a Quantal, Mechanisms for Action, Resistance, and New Derivatives for Schistosomiasis. Current Opinion in Infectious Diseases. Vol. 21 659 667. 2008. FAO slash NACA slash WHO. Food Safety Issues Associated with Products from Aquaculture WHO Technical Report Series Geneva, 1999 Han, Insu ETL An Epidemiologic Study on Clonorchiasis and Metagonomiasis in Riverside Areas in Korea Korean Journal of Parasitology Volume 19 137 to 150. 1981. Lee, Jinju, ETL. Decrease of Metagonimus Yakaga Y endemicity along the Tamjin River Basin. Korean Journal of Parasitology. Volume 46, 269 to 291. 2008. Lee, Jai Sung ETL. Epidemiological Study of Clonorchiasis and Metagonomiasis Along the GM Gang in Okshin Gun, Korea. Korean Journal of Parasitology. Volume 40, 9 to 16. 2002. Lee, Sung Cheol ETL. Antigenti C protein fractions of Metagonimus Yakaga Y reacting with patient Sera. Korean Journal of Parasitology. Volume 31, 43 to 48. 1993. Lee, Suung ETL. Sequence comparisons of 28's ribosomal DNA and mitochondrial cytochrome C oxidase subunit I of Metgonimus Yakaga Y, M Takahashi I, and M Mayatai. Korean Journal of Parasitology. Volume 24, 129 to 135. 2004. Lee, Suung ETL. A Cytogenetic Study on Human Intestinal Trematodes of the Genus Metagonimus in Korea. Korean Journal of Parasitology. Volume 37, 237-241. 1999. Markle, E.K., John, D.T., 
Krotisky, W.A. Markle and Vogue's Medical Parasitology. 9th edition. Philadelphia, W.B. Saunders Company. 2006. Melhorn, Heinz. Encyclopedic Reference of Parasitology. 2nd edition. Germany, Springer. 2001. Polowski, Zbigniew S. Intestinal Helminthiases and Human Health, Recent Advances and Future Needs. Parasitic Disease Program, WHO. 1987. RIM, Hanjong ETL. Anti-Helminthic Effects of Various Drugs Against Metagonomiasis. Korean Journal of Parasitology. Volume 16, 117 to 122. 1978. Rim, Han Zhang. Classification and Host Specificity of Metagonimus Species from Korean Freshwater Fish. Korean Journal of Parasitology. Volume 34, 7 to 14. 1996. Shin, Ian He E T L. Trends in Parasitic Diseases in the Republic of Korea. Trends in Parasitology. Volume 24, 143 to 150. 2008. The Medical Letter. Drugs for Parasitic Infections. 2005 www.medicalitor.org slash parasitic cdc Apple, B, and V. Wad Wall Rare Case of Metagonimus Yakaga Y Indian Journal of Medical Microbiology Volume 23, 61-62 2005 Who slash FAO Foodborne Trematode Infections in Asia Ha Noi, Vietnam, 2002 WHO Integrated Guide to Sanitary Parasitology Jordan, 2004 WHO Review on the Epidemiological Profile of Helminths and Their Control in the Western Pacific Region 1997-2008 2006 Yamada, Shoko Merit ETL A case of metagonomiasis complicated with multiple intracerebral hemorrhages and diabetes mellitus. Journal of Nippon Medical School 2008